Hey guys, it's Ian Preston here on my second channel, Ian Preston Reviews. Welcome back to another movie review, and it's going to be for its 55th anniversary, and I remember watching it a lot as a kid, because I got it like when I was like four or five, and I remember watching it a lot, and I had no idea it was that old. It's called Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, it's Ian Fleming's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, <laughs> but... Excuse me, it came out in December of 1968, and around this time, this is when it came out in theaters, and I um, wanted to review it for its 55th anniversary, and, um, oh man, it all starts off with, hang on a sec, okay, I decided to do this downstairs where it's a little bit quieter, um, it's about, um, anyway, at the beginning of the movie, um, it all starts off with Grand Prix, and then one of the cars crashes and gets burst into flames, and then eventually it's in a junkyard, and some nasty junk man wants to buy it from someone named Mr. Coggins, and then Jeremy and Jemima are playing with it, and he promises he promises that he would he would um he would hold off of the car or something or something. But anyway, I don't know if he really does because he said he would, um, he had already, he's afraid he already sold it, but anyway, they accidentally run in the road, causing some gal named Trudy to go into the water, and then she takes them home, they don't really live in a castle, they think they live in a castle, not a castle, it was a windmill, but anyway, their father, played by Dick Van Dyke, is an inventor, his inventions go wrong sometimes, Trudy, or Trudely, Trudely tries to convince him to rest in peace to the Truly actress, by the way. And there are some actresses that have passed away, actors and actresses that have passed away in this movie. Um, he, I mean, she tries to convince uh, Mr. Potts about, about raising his kids, but he refuses to take her advice. And, um, and he gets his kids set down for dinner, and then their grandpa played by Lionel Jeffries, um, joins them, and then he just decides to sleep in his little hut outside, and then, um, the next morning, um, um, Truly and Mr. Potts and the kids can try to convince Truly's father, um, with whistling sweets, and, and they actually, everyone likes them, and they taste delicious, but they attract dogs, sadly, and then um, he puts them. He puts his kids to sleep that night, and 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 tells them things will go right somehow. And um, and then he later on that that night at a carnival, he, he he gets he tries to give people haircuts, but then one goes wrong, and then he gets chased, and then he blends in with some people dancing to the old bamboo, and then he gets money, and then manages to buy the car. And then he, like, um, redesigns it and then takes the kids out on a picnic, drives to the countryside, and they sing a song. They name it Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And um, they invite Truly to come along. They play in the beach, on the beach. And then the next thing you know, they talk about, um, they, um, what else do they do? They, um, they, they talk about the story, apparently, um, Mr. Potts tells a story called about Baron Bomburst, and then they see a boat out in the open, and then it changes to a different story. Apparently, the screen causes it to change to a different story, and apparently, this is just in their imagination. I think I'm pretty sure it's all in their imagination. There is no Baron Bomburst. Apparently, it shows Baron Bomburst seeing a motor car, and then Chitty Chitty Bang Bang manages to float and escape, and then escape Baron Bomburst, but he. But he sends two of his henchmen to chase after them, and then they end up accidentally taking, um, they accidentally take, um, Mr. Potts's dad, which is Jemima and Jeremy's grandpa, and Truly and Mr. Potts and Jeremy and Jemima almost go over a cliff while trying to chase after them, but then they end up flying, and then, um, Lionel Jeffrey's character... Grandpa Potts um, ends up in a place with a bunch of old, old, elder, older people, 
um, Mr. Baron Bombers tries to get him to let this car to, car to fly, but sadly, Dale's, when they were trying to, they were singing Throw the Roses or something of success, and then they, and then they managed to, they managed to, like, make it to Baron Bombers' kingdom, they land safely, and apparently children have been illegal there, everyone's looking at Jeremy and Jemima, and then the toy maker, played by Benny Hill, lets, lets them in, and then um, Baron Bombers gets word that children are around, and then the child catcher tries to find them, and then apparently um, Jeremy, Jemima, and Mr. Potts, and truly they blend in as toy clowns or something in Jack in the Boxes, which is weird. And then um, all of a sudden, um, they um, the car's been captured. They try to get it to fly, but then Baron Bomber's wife goes flying into the ocean accidentally. And then um, the child catcher lures Jeremy and Jemima into his cage and takes them away to Baron Bomber's. And they get arrested. And then Mr. Potts and Truly find some kids somewhere and they convince them to help him out with with Baron Bomber's birthday the next the next day and then um they manage to like pretend to be like toys or something like Jeremy I mean not, hang on a sec I'm mixed up truly and Mr. Potts pretend to be dancing toys singing toys or something for Mr. Baron Bomber's and then the kids strike and they put a hook on Baron Bomber's pants and he goes flying in the air. They throw nets on the guests. They cause the guards to go slipping on paint or something, and or jelly. And then they manage to get or paint, just paint pretty much. And they catch the child catcher, and they eventually catch Baron and his wife in a cage, and Baron loses his crown. And then um, Mr. Potts and truly free Jeremy and Jemima, with the help of the toy maker Benny Hills, Benny Hill, Benny Hills character. And then Lionel Jeffries arrives, and then they Chitty arrives, and then they manage to escape on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and they say bye to the kingdom, and then they eventually, back at the beach, um, Mr. Potts explains that the place became a free country, and the kids got to run around in the sunshine, and the kids think that they were, the kids were, the kids think that Truly and Mr. Potts were married, but they get back, and Mr. Potts thought it was silly of them to be married, but truly thought it was so snobbish of him to say that. But anyway, um, when they get back home, um, he lets his kids right up front. When they get home, apparently, um, Truly's father and Mr. Well, Grandpa Potts are there, and then they say that they apparently his his invention was a success. Um, they whistling sweets, dog whistling sweets for like dog whistles. And then Mr. Potts goes, tells Truly about this, which causes her to go into the water again. He helps her out. They kiss. And she said that he would have to marry her. And then they end up flying. Yep. And, um, yeah. So anyway, that's the end. And no, there was never a sequel to this movie, unfortunately, which there could have been, but it's 55 years old now. And, I definitely rated a 10 out of 10, and yeah, it came out in 1968. Um, anyway, if, if y'all are if y'all got to see this in the theater when you were younger, or back in the day, or if you were a kid or something back in the day, if y'all got to see this in the theater when it got released, please drop a like so I'll know, and I might post about this on my YouTube community as well. And please subscribe for more videos, reaction videos, as always. Turn on the notification bell. I'm doing my outro to my first one, darn it. Hang on. Like and subscribe for more videos, reviews, reaction slash reviews, and just plain old reviews as always. And thank you guys for watching. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Drop a like if you enjoy this movie. And re I'm reviewing it for its 55th anniversary. And let's see. Um, Dick Van Dyke is in it. Sally Ann Howes, Lionel Jeffries, and Robert Heltman plays the child catcher. And that's pretty much all who... Oh, yeah, and Benny Hill as the toy maker. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today on Ian Preston Reviews. Subscribe for more reviews, reaction slash reviews, and just plain old reviews as always. And I will see you guys in the next video.
Peace out. I love y'all. And check out my first channel, Ian Preston. All right, see ya.